let's let's go back to uh, Wildwood Flower. We've sort of demonstrated that a couple of times, but let's go through that tune one time and just sure. see how, how you might play something like that. Um. a Carter family flavor or right. the flavor of the original tune itself and, and uh, I would I would try to dress it up a little bit uh, like Just first, variations of, 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 of the original that I do. Yeah, the first thing I noticed is that you actually put some chords in that aren't in the original. What was it going to uh, from, an, from an E7 to an A? Yeah, E7 right. to an A minor. That little uh, that little lick again, like like you did on uh, "Bury Me Beneath the Willow" with the um, fourth string, first fret. Yeah, that works great in there. Something like that. Those are just yeah. little ideas that I throw in. You know, what I try to do is is be able to improvise or play in an improvisational context within a melodic context, uh, like a, a juxtaposition of those two different different things because I don't consider myself to be a melodic player per se. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, bluegrass guitar players that are, and, they're, and they're, they're very good at it too. But I don't consider myself so much of a melodic player as I do an improvisational player. Right. But I try, in an improvisational context, I try to at least state enough of the melody so that the tune can be identified. 